Hi, Lockie Daddo here for the National Maritime Museum in Sydney. Now, as Australians, we spend a lot of time in the water, diving, fishing, swimming, surfing, dodging and weaving around the odd shark. But what do you do if you find something interesting and an intriguing maritime artifact? What do you do with it? So let's have a chat to the museum's curator of exploration, Nigel Erskine. Maybe what you found is actually worth something. So Nigel, where are we? Well, we're in the Australian National Maritime Museum and this is our conservation lab. Um, this is where we conserve all of the objects which are part of the National Maritime Collection. So let's talk about maritime artefacts. Can you explain what a maritime artefact actually is? Well, an artefact is uh, usually a man-made object which um, it's come from the marine environment somewhere, whether it be a shipwreck or it's washed up on the beach. You know, it might even be a carving on a, on a, on a cliff face, something yeah. like that. But um, it's something which has some historical relevance, it has a story attached to it. What sort of things do you come across? We consciously go out into the field once a year. We spend about three weeks out there. And um, you know, what we're looking for out in the field are, are shipwrecks. And why we're looking for shipwrecks is because shipwrecks have a story attached to them. And the artefacts which we find from the wrecks tell us a bit more about history than we find just in the history books. And what sort of things would they be? You've got an example here. Yeah, well, I think this is a really good example of an artefact. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's covered in coral, and um, this comes from a site uh, on the Great Barrier Reef to south of Cairns. It's the wreck site of Philip Parker King's mermaid. When you look at it, you wouldn't think it's very much indeed, but under the water when we found this and we, we picked it up, we realised that it was um, a bit unusually heavy and uh, we had this x-rayed and we didn't find a lot of detail. We um, asked permission to um, cut this in half to find out exactly what was in there. And by cutting it in half, you can see what this is, is a piece of canister shot, literally a tin can filled with these iron balls. Wow. So it's uh, anti-personnel. From our point of view, this is incredibly valuable. It's um, you know, one of the only pieces of canister shot that I know of from the 19th century which um, is directly related to Australia's history. So, you know, really important piece. Recreational diving has become so popular these days and um, so all of those wreck sites which have been protected for hundreds of years simply by being underwater, they're now being accessed by people on a much more regular basis. And the message we need to get out to those people is that, you know, unless you've got the skills and you've got all of these kind of uh, facilities to look after this kind of stuff, you should just leave it where it is. Contact the relevant officials and you know, there are officials um, responsible for each state. Contact them and, and tell them what you've got, where you found it. That is important where you found it. So take as much details as you can. Um. And so how much value is in that? Well, from a monetary <coughs> point of view, if you put this in an auction house, um, nothing. Nobody would want this. Its, it's value is purely historic. And any object which has been under the sea for a long time is full of salt and salt is entirely ruinous to objects. Uh, after they're brought into the air, they will rust. So what's happening here is they're in a solution where the salt is being drawn out and uh, after some considerable time uh, and testing, you'll find that there's no more salt coming into solution and that thing is stable. So here's what you should do if you come across a maritime artefact. There's a couple of things. Don't move the object. Leave it exactly where it is, but take a photo of it. Now, record its exact location and the date and the time that you did find it. Then you need to contact the relevant maritime authorities and let them know about it. A couple of other points, the older it is, the less likely you're going to be able to keep it. And unfortunately, most of these objects, their value is just historical, not monetary. So there's little chance you're going to be able to shout the family a trip to Hawaii off the back of it.